Okay, so this is the first experiment. We have a, two wires that are attached to a oak tree. They go up about 18 feet up and they're attached. One is attached to the tree and the, the wire is in a is attached to the green part of the tree which goes through to the trunk and is connected electrically. The other one is isolated. It's got a nylon uh, cable and is totally isolated. Both come down and as you can see the cable to the left is isolated. The other one does go into the tree and is connected. Now I have a ground wire to the tree which goes to ground. It goes 24 inches into the ground with salt and is uh, copper. All right. right now I'm attached. Let me take the wire off. Non. And you can look at the volt ohm meter. It is zero. And now I attach the wire to the tree. This is the one that's connected to the tree, the green part through the bark, about uh, 75, uh, 70, 750 uh, thousandths into the tree uh, contact. And I'm getting about 9 point, oh well, 998 volts. Now, is this due to the tree? Trees creating uh, electricity, or is this due to the ion? You know, the ions in the air. Well, this one is isolated, and it goes all the way up, attached, and you can see the white on there, uh, isolating that piece of wire, totally not touching the tree. And I will now connect this to here. This is now an antenna and I'm getting zero volts. Okay, so now I'll take this and I'll connect it to the one that is connected to the tree and I'm getting approximately 9.96 .9 volts. Okay, so the tree is fully leaved. As you can see, this is uh, September 18th and you can see that the leaves on the tree are still full. I'm going to do the same experiment when the leaves do fall and see if this changes the amount of voltage the tree actually generates during the process of defoliage.